still alive. There we are. Right. The girl in charge of the ship is watching Rasibi Labouf. She's promised me she's going to drive very, very well. You're going to see a view to die for because we're going to drop down from Uptown Pier all the way down to the St. George. Beautiful, beautiful harbour. So it's view after view after view. Most beautiful girl in the world. She's in charge of the ship. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again. I'm going to send her back to Shanghai. She needs a reboot. Come on, receive your booth. Why? Why? Uh, I was not born in Shanghai. No, but they can reboot you. They can, no. stick, they can stick something up your back end. No. Stick with us. Here we go. That's it. So this is the road that drops down. It comes all the way from Cathicus, which is a mountain village. And I'm sure you understand what you're about to see now. Look at that for of you. Absolutely spectacular. So stick with us. Look at that. It doesn't get any better. So follow us now as we go down this mountain expressway and it's going to take us all the way down to Paradise. We're going to go to the St. George Harbour, which is the furthest point with a road, that is, before you enter the Akamas Peninsula. Now there is a dirt track road that will take you all the way through to the other side of the island. Not suitable for cars, but believe it or not, this car that we're in has actually done it because she's a very, very good old girl indeed, as is that one. Am I an old girl? No, you're not an old girl. You're 36 years of age and you look absolutely beautiful. That's my beautiful Armenian wife. Stick with us as we transcend down this beautiful road. Can we go a bit slower, Chrissy? Yes, of course. Yeah. Mr. There we Paul. are. There we are. For some reason, she's in a big hurry today. She wants to get back to a shop and she wants Mr. Paul to buy her a blouse. Now, Mr. Paul's got very clever today because normally Mr. Paul would have... Ball? Mr. Paul, <laughs> this is my English, Mr. Paul would have bought the blouse first and then he would have had no control over Ochin Grisibial Le Booth. But today, he hasn't bought the blouse first. He's going to buy the blouse last. There you go. Oh. It's like having a little child. Yes, of, yes course. of course. Mr. Paul, you're filming me or the views? Well, I like to see the expressions on your face <laughs> as she understands the true realities of life. Here we go. Look at that for review. So we are wiggling and waggling. In fact, he was wiggling and waggling over the white line. Yeah. Perhaps he's making a YouTube video. Who knows? Luckily for me, I've got a bit more sense and I get myself a driver. Not the greatest driver, but she is not a bad driver. Best. But she's the best, there we are. So, we are wiggling and waggling down this mountain expressway and slowly but surely, we are gonna get to, receiving the booth is pondering there what to do. I've told you to keep going straight. Stay on this yeah. road till this, it gets uh, to the end. This road goes to the right. It goes to the left, goes to the right, goes to the left. The road, stay on this road all the way to the bottom and you will come to a T-junction. At the T-junction, if you were to turn a left, you would go back towards Coral Bay. But we're gonna go right, which will take us out towards St. George Bay. Comprende? Yes. So, stick with us. I wanted to show you the look on her face, but I thought I'd show you the view that's in the viewfinder because it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that blue sea mixing with the blue horizon and all the greenness and all the others. Receive Le Bouf is pondering again. Try and keep both hands on the steering wheel. Normally it's easier. There we are. Hopefully I'll live another night and I'll be back to make some more videos tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get a blouse and everything will be fine. There we are. Look at that. It doesn't get any better. So if you're looking for a place to come for your holidays, perhaps Coral Bay, St. George area and the Payer area, it's all in the borough of Payer if you understand me, could be the greatest place in the world for you to come. It's busy enough but not too busy. It's got the greatest beaches. It's got a great supermarket called Philippos. We're going to go right to receive the elbow. I think Miss Tina and Mr. George. Mr. George should be right here. Well, Miss Tina and Mr. Miss Tina, Mr. George, we haven't forgotten you. This is one of the areas that you ticked on your box, should we say, on your list. And this is Paya. It's a great, great place. I always say to everyone, if you are a foreign national and you're planning on coming to retire to Cyprus, probably the best place is Paya. 
Uh, anything you want, you can get in Paya. You don't even have to go to Paphos, although obviously you will go to Paphos, but you don't need to go out of Paya. So the fact that Paya is 20 kilometers from Paphos, happy it doesn't bother you. The language of love here is English and cash. There we are, let's keep going. That's one of the kiosks. Again, we know the guy in there. It's closed at this time of year. His name is Vito, South African chappy. Really, really nice guy. He's one of the first people I ever met when I came to Cyprus on the 15th of August in 2008. It was in the middle of a national holiday. There wasn't much open, and we were staying in a villa just out yonder, and I stopped there and had a chat with him, and I met a guy called George, who owns a restaurant just down the road here as well. And we are pretty good friends. So if you want to go riding a horse, that's where you would go. It's Jimmy's I want ranch. To ride the horse. She likes riding things. That's for sure. I like riding the horse. Yes? Yes. You're I a bit like oh so so sweet Caroline. Yes. She wants to ride Stavros. Of course. Yes, right. Stick with us. Here we go. If you were to take a right, we're not taking a right, but if you were to take a right, one kilometer, Paposu, just up there. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. This is the area called St. George, and it's full of olive groves and orange groves and banana groves. But slowly but surely, the owners of those are, shall we say, plucking their fruits and then cutting them all down and building villas. Villas to sell or villas to rent. If you take a left there, you would go down to Cap St. George on the Mankini Beach, which is a luxury five-star and beyond resort. It's a great, great place with villas, a hotel complex, and of course, massive sea frontage. There's the sign telling us that we are in Argios Georgios. Is that pronounced correctly? Ayos Georgios. Oh, Agios Georgios, there you go. There was a restaurant, that's where the former G&T's was, that's now on Yeroskipu Beach. Hopefully, ah, it has reopened, there we are. It's called Fusion, so that restaurant's been taken over by someone. It's now called Fusion at Nando's. One day, we'll pop in and have a sample. Again, this area here now, villa prices, I'm not saying you can't buy a villa for half a million, but you probably can't. Most of the villas around here, 750 million, one and a half million, and there's quite a few at five to 10 million euros. So if you've got a couple of bob, this could be a very, very good place for you to retire. That's the last restaurant on the block. It's called The Sunset, and that was the first place that I ever went out to eat in Cyprus. Like I told you, I arrived on the 15th of August 2008, stayed in the villa literally just over there to the left, and we walked over there and had a meal, and it's the first time that I had um, moussaka, but they didn't have moussaka, they actually served me a pork, pork sorbaki. There you go, All right? So the pork sorbaki was very, very nice, and I never got to eat the moussaka, and to be honest, I've never eaten one since. There we go. No, moussaka is not your favorite. No, I don't think it is. is. No, I don't think because it is. I like aubergines. I think they understood that I was not a moussaka guy, and they served me a pork sovlaki, and I didn't know the difference. Ridiculous. TLC private school there, so there's a lot of English expat children and other nationalities as well. Keep going, Labouf because this is a very, very beautiful area indeed. Unfortunately, the, the recession has caused some of the business to close down, but we won't go there. You've got a great, great fish taverna coming up in the viewfinder now. And if you go and sit on their terrace, well, it's a view to die for, that's for sure. Let's keep following the road, Labouf. It's the St. George restaurant. And over here, you've got toilets, You've got some little guest bungalows that you can rent on the left there. You've got the Aragos St. George Church over there on the right. Gift shops, an old, old church, and an archaeological... Archeo archaeological. Lost my language. Say that. Archaeological. Site to the left. We're going to wiggle down. Look at that view. We have arrived at the St. George Harbour. So follow the road, Chris Evie Booth. Yeah. When we get to the bottom, we're going to park up and we're going to dismount. What is, what is this little island Well, in that's where we're going to swim to. That's where? Yep. Oh my God. Yep. Oh You're my killing God. me. I'm going to kill you today, yeah. No. I'm not that good swimmer. Not that good a swimmer. There we are. No. Stick with us. Here we go. Should we go there? Let's follow the road round, Receiver. We've Try and stay on your own side of the road. We're not in Greece. <laughs> what can I say? Greece. There we are. If I was you and you're coming on your holidays, I would check when Marika and me are not in the country. It'll probably be safer. Right? <laughs> this is the St. George Harbour. 
quite busy today as we can see lots of small boats one or two bigger boats and there is the fishing fleet and there is the beautiful bay known as the St George Harbour pull up by the bins we'll see below booth we're important people no one else I would yeah well, we it's are. so important pull up there. we're so important pull up there, there that I can uh, never listen I to a word you say I can park by the we can park by the uh, bin bar. bins that's right, that's right. <laughs> step with us we're going to dismount and take you down and show you the beauty and the spectacality of this beautiful beautiful little beach area so a little cafe over there have a look at that nice beach lots of people having a great great time and there is the blue 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 mediterranean sea there are all the fishing boats and there's a nice picnic area it's a great great place to come so if you're coming down on your holidays or you live in cyprus or you've got a holiday home in cyprus and you've not been down to this area take a moment in your day to pop down because it's very very nice indeed you see there what about that that things that things mm -hmm. that's for launching little boats and then that is like a paddling canoe that's it, Grisivio Le Bouffe. Don't stand on it, Grisivio Le Bouffe. They're very, very expensive. No. And the man will come out and punch you. You just put two legs, yeah? You put two men in, two men. You put your foot in there, your foot in there, attach it up to you, and you start paddling like crazy. But I'm pretty sure if you step on it, the man will come out and that fall over. There we go. But we'll leave that, we'll leave that live on camera. Even the ladies are laughing. There we are, I am alive. There's a nice big rock in the middle. But we'll leave that live on camera because, well, we're live. <laughs> yeah. Legends. See? We're oh, legends. There we go. Like Stick with us. We are going to show you a great, great view. So we're going to wiggle out there across some more rooks. I'll try not to die. Christina LaBeouf has gone off in totally the wrong direction, as usual. Where are you going, LaBeouf? I, I found the frappe because uh, I'm like superior. There we go. I'm finding this is my drink for today. There we go. I will be swimming for today. So we're loving you. The, the views here, it's a dream views here. Oh, especially when Mr. Paul fall down, I'll watch it again and again. Million views, Mr. Excellent. Paul. Excellent. Yeah? But, but unfortunately, I'm still alive. How nice right. you drop on your... Uh, My jopper. Your bottom, yes. how nicely. Yes. And you were still holding yes. the camera in That's the hands. Right. You're like a true alcoholic, you know, <laughs> when it flew, flew down from the fifth floor with the bottles, the bottles were alive yep. and the both legs of alcoholic were broken yes. so you like like a true alcoholic go. okay That's with right. the camera That's right. right thank you very much for watching i totally totally enjoyed mr paul's falling down i will watch it again and again so thank you again and don't forget to come back to see <laughs> to see another I, i'm dying from the I'm sure someone's <laughs> taking the mic. And I'm warning you, Simon and Jeremy, no silly comments. Yeah, I'm lucky yeah, to be no, alive. Yeah. The things I will do for YouTube. Look at that rock. What a stupid place to put a rock. Of all the places in the world, why would you put a little rock there? Yeah? Why would you do it? Too busy trying to focus the camera lens on the most beautiful woman in the world. No. She's going to get a new blouse. It was so nice. Yeah, it was so nice. It was hilarious. I turned, no, I turned back and you were not there. I, not I just there. could hear your voice, but I couldn't there see you. You see? Anyway. Nothing will ever shut me up. Never, never, never. The things we do for YouTube, the sacrifices. No one will ever show you Paphos the way that we do. One, they're not stupid enough. Two, they're not adventurous enough. And two, they just don't have what it takes. But these two ladies <laughs> nearly fall down from the lap. I saw them. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much again and again. We're kissing you, we're loving you, and please don't forget to click and subscribe and to come back to see another of our nice madnesses. We're loving you, and bye-bye. I'll leave you with a beautiful, beautiful fishing port of St. George. Be careful now. It's beautiful. I'm checking for rocks. That's what I'm doing, checking for rocks. From now on, I'll always check for rocks. I'm probably gonna die for this YouTube channel, but hopefully, you might appreciate the effort that we try to put into it. And thanks for watching. Have a look at that. Once you don't fall on your ass, Chris, you boo. It's a nice ass, though. Let's have a look at it. There it is. There we are. She almost fell over then. Thanks for watching.